already made heaps of money, but this is a $20,000 box. This is your $20,000 box and you've made heaps of money from an Alienware keyboard, an iPhone 11, and a loose MacBook Air. <laughs> no moi, it's joining. And you may know of a YouTuber by the name of Leon Lush, who I suppose rose to fame, you know, two years ago off the back of a video where he talked about a couple of YouTubers who are pretending that they're dying. So just the other day, one of my followers DM'd me on Twitter and he said this, yo, Mr. Tomato King, have you heard of these YouTubers called Extreme Games? Question mark. Two weeks ago, they apparently made a video saying they're quitting YouTube because they are dying. They are the kings of clickbait. I don't have hard-earned proof that they are lying, but I think you should look into it. Much love, Dakota. Now, I enjoy a good uh, Leon Lush video as much as the next guy. He goes on to tell the story of uh, these two blokes who pretty much said that they were dying. And you can go and watch Leon's video about it. He does some follow-ups and all that kind of stuff. These guys were dying. Were they dying or were they not? I mean, you guys can be the judge of that, but... You know, they're still alive, so clearly... <laughs> Clearly they made it out. And here they are, they're still kicking. Their most recent video was 15 hours ago. When he says the king of clickbait, I agree. Their clickbait level is pretty strong. Look, they got 96% of humans can't do this. They got this business going on. Back three years ago, they were doing lightning fidget spinners. Dang, you gotta click on that. They got a call from the Enderman from Minecraft. A phone call at 3 a.m. Crazy, gotta click on that. 10 million people had to click on that. Why are we talking about extreme games? I wanna have a look at some of their videos, but also I wanna spill a little bit of a little bit of lemon tea because I actually have a bit of a unique take on this topic and I have chosen to remain silent until now but just as extreme games would try get that watch time I will do the same stay to the end and I guess I'm going to uh I'm going to spill some lemon tea I wanted to make a video about these guys. I've actually recorded a video about these guys years ago, back when Leon Lush made his video, but it didn't feel right in the moment when these guys were talking about how they were dying and all that kind of stuff. I guess they've moved on from that. And so I feel like now maybe that they seem to be doing okay. Maybe now is the time. <laughs> but first, three iPhone 12 Pros in a $20 eBay mystery box. What? No doubt there's gotta be a giveaway. Tell me there's, a, tell me there's a giveaway. Crazy unboxing? Tell me I can win one of these. How much you wanna win one of these? There we go. That's the extreme games we all know and love. You can win one of these bad boys. <laughs> So, even if you know nothing about these guys, let's just set the scene a little bit. Before I brew that little cup of lemon tea and just ah! spill it all over you, we gotta get to know them. Gotta get to the bottom of what makes these guys tick. Why are they so extremely successful at 6.56 million subscribers? And what, what is it that they're do doing different? different? Mystery boxes. We have bought hundreds of them and spent over a million dollars on them. You've what? <laughs> Have you actually? I wouldn't be surprised because they're probably making wicked big bucks from this. The absurd thing about that is that that means they haven't just earned a million dollars through ad revenue on YouTube. It means that they have earned so many millions of dollars that they have afforded <laughs> to put a million dollars into mystery boxes alone for their channel. Today, we have purchased a $20 mystery box and a <laughs> We have spent a million dollars on mystery boxes, but today's different. Today it's um it's 20 it's 20 bucks. $20,000 mystery box. Oh, okay. No, no. There's also a $20,000 mystery box. This $20 mystery box said it could contain $10,000 of stuff in it. Let's And I'm sure it will. I'm sure when you're spending 20 bucks on eBay for something random, it's, you know, your chance is probably pretty good that you're going to get something that's worth $10,000. Find out what's inside them. <laughs> Before we continue, before we even get past the 34 second mark in this video, these mystery boxes, I'm sorry to break your little hearts, all the viewers at home, these mystery boxes aren't real. <laughs> You guys ever bought a package from eBay? Because I have. You've ever bought something from Amazon? You know how it's got that nice Amazon tape on it? You ever bought something from eBay? eBay packages don't have eBay tape on them. That's not how eBay works. You don't actually buy anything from eBay. You buy things from people who sell things on eBay. And these people, they're not wrapping up their packages in eBay tape. I'm telling you that much. <laughs> There's probably someone selling mystery boxes, to be honest. Okay, you actually can buy mystery boxes if you want, but they bought like a 20 buck one. So let's see, like this one's 20 bucks. They reckon it's got $50 worth of goods inside. Jeez, they sold 89 of these things. Wait, 
Are you guys reading this? This Lucky Dot mystery box contains a variety of assorted items for you. Each Lucky Dip may contain items, bra and nipple cover, <laughs> clothing and hair, socks, stocking, makeup product. This is the kind of stuff you're getting, all right? At least they're honest. But this is the kind of stuff you're getting when you buy a mystery box on eBay. You're not getting $10,000 of, you know, iPhone 12 Pros. Never, literally never. You're getting bras and nipple covers and hair. <laughs> I'm excited. Let's see what these guys are going to get in their boxes. They said they spent $20,000 on our mystery box. I struggle to believe that that has ever been a thing. Like, look, highest. Oh my goodness. You can spend $80,000 on a mystery box. All right. I take it back. First of all, I guess you can spend $20,000 on a mystery box if you really wanted to. Whether these are actually eBay mystery boxes remains to be seen. My best guess would be this seems like a very easy thing to fake. <laughs> you could put anything in a box and then wrap it up and tell people that you bought it as a mystery box on eBay. But With the $20,000 mystery box, we got this and it says special super bonus. Woo! Let's just start opening. Yeah. Oh, we're straight into it. We've got 10 minutes of, uh, of footage here and we're getting straight into box number one already. Here we go, baby! <laughs> Yeah, with the music here and the amount of money they're spending, there better be some dang Gucci slides in this box, right? If there's no Gucci slides in this box, I'm gonna be upset. This is gonna be sick, guys! Let's do this! All right, I'm just here gonna go, go baby. in and grab whatever I see. All right. I love the hype. I love the sheer hype coming out of these guys. They've got it down to a T. Oh, straight up the moon! Alienware laptop! That's not a laptop. <laughs> I just called it a laptop! What's happening? It's, it's, it's a keyboard. <laughs> Guys, Woo! this could be so expensive. It's Alienware. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I live for. This is why I have this channel. I love watching this kind of stuff. <laughs> I love it. They could not be more excited. You know, these guys are spending million bucks on mystery boxes. Do you know how much money these guys have? A lot, clearly. Clearly they've got a lot of money. But dude, when you open a mystery box and there's an Alienware keyboard inside that you could have just bought with your own, Millions of dollars? You cannot help but ooze the hype. It's an Alienware laptop. Phone 11 Pro! Whoa! Dude! Lucky. You are lucky! That is sick! Was this the $20 box? They just got their uh, $11, 11, 11 Pro dollar iPod? Pro? Phone? Lucky socks. I want a $20 mystery box on eBay. I guess that's why kids are watching this, right? Like, I guess that's why it gets so many views because kids just like love the idea of just spending 20 bucks on a box and pulling out an iPhone. <laughs> By the way, when we're talking like excitement levels. What's with the sheer elation? Opening up an Alienware keyboard. We're, we're talking level 11. We're blasting through the gauge here. iPhone 11? Oh yeah, cool. You're lucky. That's pretty sick. As if that keyboard was the exciting part here. You unboxed an iPhone, dude. Come on. If you're going to be busting out that level of energy right from the start, I need even more when you pull the iPhone out of that box. Well, what is it? I believe it. You'll never believe it. Oh! It's a MacBook. It looks very damn Wait, it looks damn. Oh no, that looks actually good. It looks brand new. I'll take it. What? These guys have made a living out of grabbing things around their house, putting them in a box, taping the box up, turning the camera on, and then untaping the box and pulling the things out. <laughs> it's a loose laptop. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. I did just put it in there, but you know, I'll take it back out. Is this still the $20 box? Because like, dang, there's some serious money to be made. Here I was just getting nipple covers and hair from my $20 box. Oh, this one's the $20,000. Why would they open the $20,000 one first? Okay, it's the $20,000. So I guess they still need to pull a decent amount of stuff out of here to recoup. We've already made heaps of money, but this is a $20,000 box. And we're hoping we make some good money on, from it. Did you just say you've already made money? How expensive? is this Alienware keyboard. This is your $20,000 box and you've made heaps of money from an Alienware keyboard, an iPhone 11, and a loose MacBook Air. <laughs> I'm sorry to break it to you dudes. You've got a little while to go before you're breaking even. A little shy of 20,000, but maybe we'll get there. Maybe we'll pull out the keys to like a Lexus or something. Gonna get something good back! Oh, Tommy, it's an Xbox controller. Yeah, no, this is absolutely, they've just walked around the house and just like grabbed different things and they're like, oh, I'm chuck an Xbox controller in there. Johnny, what? No way! Oh, another keyboard! Dude! Dude, this is a razor. <laughs> Dude, another keyboard! What are we gonna do with all these keyboards? <laughs> 
one. Si Sinosalite. <laughs> Sinosalite. Woo! That is sick, dude. Sinosite. <laughs> it's it's Sinosite light. <laughs> ah, right. There's a little bit of a break of character for a second. <laughs> We're like up here with the hype, and then he's just like Tom here. It's like, yeah, no, that's that's not what it says. <laughs> their energy is so fake. All right, I do want to say their energy may be fake. To be fair, that's what being a YouTuber is. I mean, I guess there's YouTubers getting around, and they somehow managed to gain subs with a very low, cool, calm, collected attitude. But look. Doesn't work for me. I mean, I put on a little bit of energy. All the people over here on the Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash join on Twitch, you can follow me where I stream these videos live. They will attest to the fact that me pre hitting the record button compared to me while recording, very different vibes. You have to put on the energy. Now, sure, I'm not here going, dude, it's a keyboard. <laughs> I'm not like a burst in a blood vessel at the sight of an Alienware keyboard, but you know, there is a little bit, there is a little bit of that to every YouTuber. You're always, you're always putting on a little bit of a, an act. And I will always say this, I will always be on the side of the creator, you know, to some extent, maybe more than the average person. They are definitely making videos for kids. Now, whether this is the whole debate of you're making videos for kids, but you're making it very much about like money and material possessions and all that kind of stuff could be a little bit questionable, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm just saying the energy levels when you're making content for kids, it just kind of comes with the territory. That's what you got to do. That's why people are always asking me to look at Colin's key. And I just don't know what to say because I'm just like, well, he's just making the content for the people who want to watch that content and he's going nuts and, and the kids just love it. If you have a YouTube channel that has just blown up, you're sitting there with your bro making some YouTube vids and what it requires is you to scream out, dude, keyboard, every 30 seconds. Well, dang, wouldn't you be doing the same? <laughs> Guys, it's literally a Razer Death Adder. These are $130, no doubt about it. No, seriously, that is sick. <laughs> it is kind of funny how they're breaking character. <laughs> He's like, this is kind of ridiculous. How ecstatic I am about this hundred dollar mouse. She can't even keep it together. Tommy, what is it? Tommy, it's an Xbox headset. Dude, it might actually be the Xbox Series X in here. There might be an Xbox Series X in here. <laughs> yeah. Well, not in there. That's clearly a pair of headphones, my dude. Guys, I've never seen anything like this ever. I'm serious. Oh, what on that? We got some Ferrari headphones. Look at this, guys. It's a Ferrari headset. Ferrari. I'll trade you right now. I'll trade you my Xbox for that Ferrari. He's just assuming that these ones are his. How does this work? You know, we never got to the moment where we're like laying everything out and we're like, all right, how are we sorting this stuff? He's just like, dude, we got the Xbox One Astra A50 Wireless Plus base stations and they're all mine. And Tom's like, hold on, wait, just pause it. What do you mean they're yours? You know, we went halves in the box. I thought, you know, at least we'd have some conversation about who's getting what headphones. It has to be at least like a thousand dollars. That surely. is literally the coolest headset I've I ever seen. I can't trade with you. Come on, trade! Just yeah! have it. Dude, this is sick. Yes, now I can listen to songs real fast. Usually it takes me three minutes 30 to get through a Billie Eilish jammer, but now it'll only take me three minutes 10 with all that extra horsepower. They're 190 bucks from Scorp Tech. I think Tom got the better deal there. He swindled you a little bit. He's like, ooh, I got the uh, I got the Ferrari ones. I bet you wouldn't mind the Ferrari, you know, but they're all mine. No, I want the Ferrari ones. I'll trade you. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Tommy, there's literally four boxes of Pokemon cards. Sick. You're still too excited. I, I I cannot help but imagine myself in this situation. I have spent $20,000 on a mystery box here, and I am so excited to pull things out. Side note, I feel like they've pulled out more things than would fit in the box. The box wasn't that big. Is there like a portal inside this box? But anyway, I'd be pulling out the first thing, and, and uh, like my heart would just drop. I'd be like, oh no. I got a keyboard. I'm not making my money back, am I? And everything I pull out, I'm like, nope, this isn't getting me anywhere close to 20,000. I spent $20,000. I'm gonna need a little bit more than Pokemon cards. I would just be depressed. I'd be like, what have I done? Dude, no way! What is it? Another MacBook! Oh my gosh, that is old. That can't be worth anything. You can't just freak out over a MacBook willy nilly. You have to know that that's, you know, maybe $30. Seriously, I don't know what this is Dude, worth. That is it's a MacBook. It looks in pretty good condition. Oh my. It's a super old MacBook. <laughs> my throat hurts listening to him screaming. That's true. That would kill. 
My throat hurts after three hours of streaming. At my level of talking, these videos would be exhausting to film. Look at sword, dude, there was two of them. Guys, these can go on our setup. The fact that everything is like conveniently what they want, these can go in our setup. Like it makes me think that like maybe they actually did just spend 20 grand on stuff that they wanted to buy. That's just how they do their shopping. They go do some like online shopping. They buy like a MacBook here and there. They find some other random crap around the house. But then they're like, oh yeah, we want some things for the setup. We'll get some Pokemon stuff. They just buy all the stuff. And when it finally all comes, shove it all in a box, put some eBay tape on it, turn the camera on <laughs> and it pays for itself. Hold on dude, there's actually more of this. They got ripped off, there's no lemon cart merch or Gucci slides. You're right though, they spent 20K and they didn't get any lemon cart and merch or Gucci slides. What a terrible way to spend $20,000. Oh, nice! I don't know if these are rare or not, but these I'd look cool. I'd say they would be. I say they would be. I also say those Ferrari headphones were worth $1,000, so, you know, take what I say with a grain of salt. <laughs> Bonus no, wait with this. Wait right. for this. Let's open the $20 box first. Yeah, I want to know what's in the Christ $20 Christ. box. The $20 box is so much more interesting to me. Because, like, think about this from, like, a kid's perspective. They're like, cool, 20000 bucks worth of stuff. That's kind of fun. But, like, 20 bucks. I got 20 bucks. I could be Tom sitting in my studio at home, ripping open a $20 box. I mean, I guess there's gonna be three iPhones in there. We bought this box because it said $20 mystery box, but you can win up to like $10,000. So we said, we're gonna buy that one. I've never seen a $20 one that says you can win that much. Yeah, yeah usually they just say you can buy things like nipple covers and hair, <laughs> maybe a stocking. So this one, jeez. <laughs> I mean, the value. It's pretty much a, a must purchase. It's actually a decent business strategy to just buy a bunch of these $20 boxes. Let's see if we get the best or the worst from this mystery box. If we got the best, that would be absolutely I'm honestly crazy. expecting just to see like $50 of like lollies or Which is generally what's in these sorts of boxes. All right. Yeah, and hair. I've spent countless, countless dollars on $20 mystery boxes. And all I ever get is hair. One time I got a nipple cover, but it was just one. Guys, it's an iPhone 11 Pro. It's an iPhone 11 Pro! That's an iPhone 12. It's an iPhone 12! I thought it was an 11, it's a 12! He's always getting it wrong. Johnny, why are you always saying it's the wrong thing? Keyboards, you're calling them laptops. You're calling iPhone 12s, iPhone 11s. What was the other one? He did He did something else as well. They're like ruining their voices. That must hurt. I would be lightheaded five minutes into filming this. And this is 10 minutes, so they've cut this down from at least an hour of footage. I would be lightheaded. I would need to take a break. I would sit down, have some water, maybe a, a cup of tea, a lemon and honey tea, and come back and be like, okay, I think I might be able to keep going. Whoa, guys, an iPhone 10. Dude, that's a MacBook. What? It's a MacBook. I don't even know. I, this could be worth $20,000. I think that one's maybe one and a half grand at most. Crazy. That would be me. That would be the join-in version of uh, Extreme Games. I'm even shocked. I didn't expect this. All right. <laughs> I'm even shocked. And I'm not Johnny. I'm Tom. And you guys know me. <laughs> I'm the calm one. Now he's opening the special super. This is sick. Oh, Richard. oh dude. Guys! Oh my goodness! It's a Fortnite pickaxe! That is sick, dude! Yes! Oh! Oh my gosh! A Fortnite pickaxe! Oh god, okay, you're gonna need a minute. Uh, maybe just turn the camera off. You might have to come back to me. There's a Fortnite pickaxe in the box. I never thought, I never thought. I never thought this could happen to me. It's crazy. I'm very interested to see what types of uh, stuff people write in the comments. Oh, yeah, yeah, Then you get the types of comments you get in like the Mr. Beast videos. Please, I really want the phone. My family hasn't had so much money lately. Please, my phone cracked. Give it to Boomer Ducky, YouTube. Tommy, Tom, Tommy, Thomas, give it to Boomer Duck. This channel gives me a lot of energy and good vibes. There you go. Nicholas said it best. The kids love this stuff. And I think it's always fun to watch these videos, delve into the kids' side of YouTube, which is what we do every other day. And we pull it apart. Join in. This was very painful. Exactly. It's 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 painful. As an adult, you sit down in your free time, you watch My Kitchen Rules, and then you turn on Join in, and he pulls up Extreme Games, and all of a sudden it's dude, a keyboard. <laughs> It's just wild. It's wild to get a little bit of an experience of that side of things. And I say that, not just because I say that about every channel, and I hope that you guys can see the consistency in what I say. I'm always an advocate for content. Even if it's the content that you don't like, I think if it's not hurting anyone, if there's an audience out there who will enjoy the content, then sure, go ahead. And I've always said that about any channel, really. When it comes to like faking your own death or your own dying, I don't know. I honestly don't really know uh, what to say about that. Some people who are uh, a lot more ready to jump on them for that 
have done so. And I don't know. That situation is super bizarre. I don't know if it's tea. I don't know if this means anything to you guys, if this is interesting at all. But out of these two fellas that we see on the screen here, this is Tom and we went to school together. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if that's lemon tea, but I'm not joking. This is Tom. This is his brother. And um, Tom was in my class at, at school. So I know I know him. His family was then in like my siblings year levels as well. Like I'm friends with him on Facebook. <laughs> Which is why you can imagine from my position, this is just bizarre. Like, this is absurd. A few years ago, my channel was nothing. I wasn't anywhere. And I'm still, honestly, nowhere near the size. Not even approaching the same realm of subscriber base that these guys have. But still, I have people who actually listen to what I say now compared to when this was all coming out two or three years ago about them faking their own death. And it was so bizarre for me to watch these videos being like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I, I went to school with you. <laughs> and there's this whole situation and I, I had a look on the Facebook and um, this is why I'm saying it's a weird video for me to make. It's weird when it's people you really know. What I do know is that through what I've seen on Facebook, they're legit as in whether they were dying or not, I don't really know. But the whole business with them going to a chiropractor and stuff like that, they actually did. So whether they had something serious going on and whether they were dying and whether they were or weren't, I do think they actually think they were at the very least, because I've seen some of the stuff from uh, behind the scenes. And look, that's a long con. If you're even trying to bamboozle people on Facebook. So I don't know. I don't know what the situation is. It's really weird. And when you watch um, Leon's video and other people have done videos about it too, it's like, it's such a bizarre situation. I'm telling you now, it's even weirder for me because I know these guys. It's not like I was best friends with Tom. I mean, I didn't really hang out with Tom. We have exchanged words at some point. I have probably sat next to him in class in some point or another, but like, you know, it wasn't like there was like heaps of students in our year level. Like he was in my actual classroom of like 20 or 30 kids. And like, so you're gonna brush shoulders with these people and all my friends know who he is as well. And it's just bizarre reflecting on it. That's why like, I want to make it clear. Like, sure, I guess I'm trying to be very careful with what I say about them because these are actual like real people to me. These aren't just like random Australians <laughs> across the world. These are real people to me that I have known not very well but certainly in person. But I do think that my opinions on the on the situation would remain consistent whether I knew them or not, because I, I always take the same approach of, uh, even when it comes to their content, that I think if people are making content and there's an audience for it, then sure. Maybe if I have to take an opinion on it, I don't know, I feel like making all the videos about the dying situation and all that kind of stuff, I guess if I was in their situation, I, I wouldn't have. I'm not saying that as a judgment, I'm just saying, I guess that's how I would approach it. There's plenty of stuff that goes on in my life, and especially if it's something serious like that, I'm not really gonna make a video about it. I don't know if it's the place, especially when your audience is a bunch of kids who are there to watch you unbox $20 mystery boxes. Like, I don't know. I wanna be careful and I wanna say that it's not a judgment from me. If you want a judgment on them, there's definitely other creators out there who will uh, smoosh them into the absolute floor with their thickest sole shoe. But that's not me. Partly because it's too real for me, but partly because I would like to think I would take that stance regardless. I don't know, it's weird. At the end of the day, if it's true, it's their channel so they can be as public or as private as they like. Yeah, they can approach it the way they want to. And I guess people can then make the content about them that they want to. I guess that's kind of how it works. I guess if you're gonna put out the bizarre situation where you're dying of vertigo or whatever it was, then uh, people are probably gonna have some things to say about it. And I guess that's YouTube. <laughs> I don't know if I'm really adding anything to this discussion. I just guess I wanted to share like my point of view, like how weird it is for me knowing these guys. I don't know them very well, but just weird. So I just want to say that I hope none of it is like coming across like I'm trying to roast these guys or whatever, because I don't really know enough about the situation. I guess some other commentators, maybe they've looked more into it. Maybe they've just decided that based on the evidence in front of them, they're happy to go ahead and say what they say. I don't know where I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Honestly, if you guys see this video, then like, you know, you want to you want to get you want to get on a video, get on a little call or something, you know, we could do a video. I could share with everyone uh, your side of things. I could be like a like a mediator between you and the the commentary world. <laughs> or I could just come over to your place and we could just scream about Xbox controllers. Like, uh, honestly, I'm down for that too. <laughs> anyway, if you want to get some of the sweet lemon carton merch, you can get some in the description below. It's got a cute little lemon carton on it. Come follow me over on uh, Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash join but on Twitch, where this is the kind of place where I might share some of those more intimate sort of details about, you know, if I was dying or something. <laughs> no, I'd, I'd still tell YouTube if I was actually dying, but I don't know. I, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm gonna end the video there. Ah, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for watching my video, but now that it's done, please watch another one.